All right, let's see how this works. All right, it's, it is recording in... Are you guys seeing my my whole face on the whole screen right now? Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. I don't know why it's spinning. All right, here we go. All right, so we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you guys how to center a drawing in the drawing space. All right, you got your regular border, right? Get inside a block. Now, if you take your ruler, and you took your title block, and you measure from left to right, you're going to find that it's 10 inches from title block to side. If you measure from the title block to the top, you're going to see it's literally, it's, it's six and seven eighths. It's not seven. It's actually going to be six and seven eighths. So the distance from here to here is 10. From here to here is six and seven eighths. Let's remember those for later. So we got our height and our width. Height is 10. With the six and seven eights. Now, if I want to draw an object, okay, a three dimensional object, okay, and I know. But the width of this object from here to here is, I don't know, about three inches. I know the depth of this object from here to here is two inches. I know the height of this object from here to here is two and a half inches. So this is the depth, this is the width, excuse me. This is the height, this is the width, and this is the depth. What we have to understand is, we're gonna to wanna to make a drawing that looks something similar to this. Okay? But we wanna center it. In order to center it in the drawing space, making sure that this, and this is the same, and this, and this is the same. We have to do a little math. We know that the space in between the drawings, we always like to keep that one inch and one inch. We said that the height is two and a half inches. We said that the depth is two inches. So we're going to put the depth up here, and we also put the depth over here. We said the width is three inches. So in order to find the start point, or the space between here to here, and the space between here to here, what we need to do is, we need to add up some heights. Currently, the heights that we know are two and a half, and two, going up the paper, this way, plus the one inch in the middle. So two, plus two and a half is four and a half, plus one is five and a half. I'm gonna take that measurement, that five and a half, and I messed these two up. This should have been width, this should have been height, my bad. So we got two, two and a half, it's four and five and a half. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna subtract that from here. Do the same thing width-wise. You get three plus two is five plus one is six. This one's gonna be a little easier. So, in order to find the empty space here and here, we kind of have to think about the drawing like this. If I put the drawing together, 
And right next to the edge, I had drawn the side view, gave myself a one inch space, excuse me, the front view, gave myself a one inch space and then drew the side view. What was left from here to here, X would be this, right? Because we had 10 was the original width. Six is the width if I take the three plus the one plus the two. So when I take 10 minus six, I get four. Now, four is this space. I don't want to space all on the right-hand side. I want to split the space in half. So what is half of four? Two. So I would measure over from the right two inches to get my start point. Now let's do up and down. Up and down is a little harder math-wise for the fractions. It's six and seven eighths minus five and a half. We change the halves to eighths, we get four eighths. We know seven eighths minus four eighths is three eighths. We know six minus one, six minus five is one. Now, how do we get half of one and three eighths? Anybody remember? Well, divide. You have to divide. Right, we divide the one by two. We're going to get a half. When it comes to getting a half of a fraction, the easiest way that I know to get half a fraction is leave the top number alone, multiply the bottom number by two. So therefore, what is half three eighths? It'll be three sixteenths. You take one half plus three sixteenths, change the half to eight sixteenths, and you get eleven sixteenths. 11 sixteenths would be how much you would go up for your start point. Okay? That is how you center a drawing. You must first find the width of the paper, find the height of the paper, then you find the total width and depth going crossways, plus inch, take that whole number. Subtract that from this width. Whatever you get, you divide by two, and that's going to be your start point. Same thing this way. Take your whole height, subtract this height, minus the one, and minus the two. Whatever's left over, that one and three eighths, we divide by two, and we get 11 sixteenths, and that would be how much we move up for our start point.